In today's lunch break, friend of the midday show, cooking instructor and cookbook author Ying Stoller is back with another great recipe. Today we're learning how to make pork dumplings and we are having a big celebration, a little pre-celebration for Chinese New Year. Yes, yes. I've had people asking me, I hope you're going to do something for Chinese New Year because a lot of people love to celebrate it and yeah. so they want to try to make things themselves. So yep. this is great. That's the biggest, this is the biggest the holiday in China. Do you know that? I mean, there's people take like two weeks off. Oh my and, goodness. Yeah, yeah and they celebrate it, all, I mean, pretty much those whole, whole two weeks. Well, you know, we're going to celebrate, but we're going to have a meal for one day. Yes. But you did bring some great decorations in mm -hmm. today if we want to yes. get festive around the house here. Sure. And then we're going to make some pork dumplings. Yeah, and also sometimes called shao mai. You know, okay. there are so many different ways to call them your different shape. They call differently, you know. So I'm using ground, uh, in fact, chicken today. You can use ground pork, oh. and I just use the ground chicken today. But so what's the difference in the shape when they're called shao mai? Shao mai is, you know, like a kind of round. Um, we already have some made. I'll show you in a little bit. Okay. Okay. But um, if it's, uh, you know, steamed dumplings, you know, those are kind of oblong, like, right. you know. Yeah, and then what are those pockets. called? Those are dumplings. Okay, they're yeah. called dumplings, mm -hmm. I see. So I have a ground chicken here, and I'm going to just use uh, some chopped uh, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very simple. You know, some people think it's very complicated. In fact, it's very, very simple. Chop some um, uh, water chestnut. And also I'm going to add a little bit pepper, mm -hmm. green onions. Pretty easy, right? Simple. Right. And a little bit of sugar, a little bit of, uh, that's the salt, a little bit of sugar. And we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce. And then finally, we're going to add an egg. So to put them, you know, hold them the together. Whole egg. Oh. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'm just going to mix very well. And then we'll be ready to make the shao mai. And I already have some pre made. So, you know, all you need to do is just mix them very well, you know. And um, we're gonna make show you how to mix them. After you mixed it all up, do you put it back in the refrigerator to give it a, a firmer consistency, or no, it's okay to? Um, you know, maybe give it ten minutes so the you know the seasoning all absorbed by meat. Oh, you know? right, yeah. perfect. So and then we we'll just you can use the dumpling wrappers or wonton wrappers. So the wonton wrappers is a square, mm -hmm. and the dumplings is round. Either one will work. So we're gonna put some fillings in the middle. Then we're going to put on a flat surface, so like this, you know, you can gather the edges. So, and then you use one hand, try to hold this, and then put a little bit more on top. So this is the shape we're making. But if you want to make it just easy, simple, just make it the regular, you know, pot stickers you see. Right. And then you can just steam them. So this is the sh shape. Oh, and so uh, you leave mine. them open like that? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Leave it open. Okay. And then so you make them and then we'll just uh, steam on a, in a steamer. Mm -hmm. You can use bamboo. I have bamboo. I have a stainless steel. So I just brought this time stainless steel. You put about two inches water. You want to make sure you have enough so you won't burn the pan. You right. Know? So we're going to steam about eight to ten minutes. Depends on the size. So I already have some, you oh, know, ready that. made. You've yep. made them. And then all you need to do is just uh, sprinkle a little bit, uh, you know, green onions or uh, crab meat, whatever you prefer. And then this is awesome to serve as appetizer uh, or a whole meal. You know, How it's simple delicious. Is that? It yes. does. It always seems more complicated, I think. Yeah, it's not. In fact, this is uh, some of the uh, typical Chinese meal dishes like fish. I have the kung pao fish there. I use, the, use the, uh, tilapia and also kung pao chicken Ooh, yum. and egg rolls, of course. And then we have also uh, um, sticky rice, trust me, sticky rice ball and steamed buns. All these are very typical Asian, you know, um, Chinese New Year. Right. The Ooh, sticky yeah. rice ball, is that made with white rice there? Why does it have the coloring that it does? Um, well, it's uh, you deep fry them. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, also you coat it with the sesame seeds. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. The coloring yes. is the, the yeah. coating for the sesame mm -hmm. seeds. You know, this year is the year of the snake. The year of the black snake, right? Yes. <laughs> but if you are born in that, you were born in that year, you need to wear red underwear. That's the Chinese tradition. On Chinese New Year? Yes. And because they want to make sure you drive away the evil spirits and to, you know, have a great prosper prosperous <laughs> New Year. Okay. So, yeah, it's, so it's, it's, a, it's a happy Chinese New Year. And then Gongxi Fa is a you know a good fortune. 
So pe Chinese people are very big on those things. In, you know, I red color that. is another thing. It's drive evil, drive away evil spirits, and to bring good fortune. So get some red year. decorations, mm -hmm. and if you were born in the year of the black snake, then you're gonna have to pull out the red underpants as well. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jane. You're welcome. Great recipe, great Thank idea. You so much. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can go to yingskitchen.com for lots of great ideas, or we can link you right there at wgntv.com/midday, and we will have the recipe for these wonderful dumplings. You can put pork or chicken in them. Always lovely to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back.